Hey guys, welcome back to Anderson's Garage. I'm Jim. Today we're going to test out eight different waxes and see which one has the best shine. We'll, we'll apply the wax, we'll buff it, we'll spray it with some water, see which one beads the best, and then we'll move it outside and see when, which one has the best shine. Stick around till the end. You may be as surprised as I was. I had two of my favorite waxes in the mix, the Meguiar's Ultimate and Zymol. See how those compared to all the other waxes we tested. Da, 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 da. Wax on. Right the hand. Make the circle. Wax off. Left hand. Circle. All right. So to keep everything fair and even, we're going to use different microfiber cloths to buff it off. And we'll use different applicators. Who waxes the Chevy Cruze? Apparently, I do. <laughs> so here we've got a 2011 Chevy Cruze in like a charcoal color. We're gonna go over it first with the wax and grease remover. So as you can kind of see, there's various scratches in the finish. All right, we've got the new finish. This will be the first one we run. Tear it open, it's brand new. Let me give it a really good shake. Make sure we have whatever's in there mixed up really good. We got a brand new applicator. So we'll apply it. Dang it. So we're going to let it dry to a haze. Normally you can tell that with a little wipe of your finger. And if it doesn't smear, it's good. But I got one thick spot right in the center, so we better wait a second. New finish. The once a year car polish. Number one best selling car polish. No rubbing, no buffing. There's the shine of the new finish. We'll move on. Let's try out the Mother's Hybrid. I'm kind of excited about that one. I wonder if it's going to do a really fantastic job. So we'll set these off to the side because we already used them. All right, so we've got the Mother's Hybrid. Still sealed. Uh, clean side of our applicator. I wonder how this is going to do. It's thick. So Mother's Hybrid. Mother's Ultimate Hybrid. Easy on, easy off. Ceramic wax. Familiar wax on, wax off simplicity. That's it. We'll let it dry to a haze. We'll set this aside. It's both sides of that have been used. All right, so now we're going to buff out the Mother's Hybrid. The brand new microfiber. So not real exciting. One thing I'll say though, so far with the uh, Mother's Hybrid and the new finish, there wasn't a bunch of dust left behind. That may be a cleaner wax thing. We'll find out as we move into the cleaner waxes. Let's use some turtle wax. Brand new applicator. There we go. Alright, I might have got a little carried away with the turtle wax and the amount that I'm putting on here. I don't I think that will affect any sort of shine or anything really. So we'll let that dry. How many of you guys hand wax your cars? Is that something you enjoy doing? I do. I love making something look new again if you can. My motorcycles, I try to wax everything uh, at least once a year. Depending on how much I like the vehicle, sometimes I'll wax it a little more. I had a car when I was a kid, a 78 Camaro. Actually, a 79 Camaro was my first vehicle when I was 16. What a, that was a terrible decision by my parents. Thanks for staying on my path. Oh, yeah, no, no, that. Hey. hey. The, oh, the path. I'm sorry. I forgot about the path. I'm going to sweep the whole thing right now. How about that? You know, I, I, I buy half your car. I'm yeah. barely out of jail. I don't know what they were thinking. And I used to wax that thing like a couple times a week. I just loved it. So is it something that you guys enjoy, waxing your vehicles? Let us know in the comments. Brand new microfiber for the turtle wax. So we'll buff this off. I put this on just a little bit thicker. Actually, for $5, that stuff doesn't have a bad shine. Okay, that's all buffed out. I'm excited to see the chemical guys wax in a way that I don't think it's going to be all that different from any of the other waxes. I'm not crapping on it. I just 
it seems to me that you just pick one you like and the way it feels when you put it on and, and buff it out and then that's your wax. So Alex is going to apply the Chemical Guys wax, buff it in, Banzai! And then it's on. Chemical Guys, easy on, easy off, butter wet wax, deep wet shine. Deep wet look to any paintwork, natural carnauba, cleaning power, long lasting protection. Hey, if you guys enjoy seeing any of this content, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell so you get notifications. We have a video coming up where we use a Amazon dent puller, so that'll be coming soon. We'll let this dry, and then we'll buff it out. A few moments later. All right, Alex is gonna buff the Chemical Guys Butter Wet Wax. That's pretty shiny. We'll see how it compares to everything else. All right, next up will be the Meguiar's Cleaner Wax. So I've had this for a long time. It's dried out a little bit. Oh, no, it's still slippery. So we're gonna use clean side of the microfiber. I'll get some on here. This is a cleaner wax. Meguiar's, America's number one selling cleaner wax. Cleans, polishes, and protects in one easy step. High gloss shine. Okay, let's buff the Meguiar's Cleaner Wax. Wow, that one has a good shine. Must be why I kept it around so long. Wow, that one did really good, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Maybe it's the light, but we'll get some indirect light on it too. See if it makes a difference. Okay, so testing today. The Shine Armor is the only one that requires a little different application. You're supposed to spray it on a damp microfiber cloth. And then wipe the surface. It says to work a three foot by three foot area at a time, as you do with most waxes. So we're supposed to apply that, and then we let it Gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. Quickly switch to a clean dry folded microfiber cloth before it dries. So we'll immediately go to this and we'll buff it. Shine Armor, Fortify Quick Coat, Waterless Wash, Shine and Protect. All right, I'm not super impressed as I wasn't when I used it before. I just can't bring myself to throw it away because it was so expensive. Next we have our Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax pure synthetic polymer it's got a brand new applicator i guess i showed you that side so i should use that side i'm a big fan of this stuff i don't think it's as great as zymol that's it we got a letter haze and then we'll buff it out all right so let's buff out the mcguire's ultimate cleaner wax we have a brand new clean microfiber cloth lots of elbow grease mcguire's ultimate paste wax pure synthetic polymer our most advanced hydrophobic wax featuring thin film technology this is one of my favorites it actually looks just like the shine armor from here all right let's move on to the zymol so just so you guys know this truly is one of my favorites it's most of the way gone now because i've been using it for a while the only thing about this is it leaves quite a bit of dust behind brand new microfiber that's probably way too much. So let's jump up here and we'll apply the wax. Zymol, pure, powerful, perfect. Original formula cleaner wax. Okay, we'll let it sit. Let me get it off the control here. The control has no wax. All right, so I'll buff the Zymol here. Okay, so that's the end result of all the different waxes. That's the Meguiar's cleaner wax. This is the shine armor. Let's try and I'll try and get some indirect light too, shining across it. So, so far, there's not a real clear winner. This is an original factory finish. Try and move the light around and see. I don't think there's a real clear winner. Next, we will spray it with some water and see how it beads. Everybody's a big fan of after they wax their vehicle and to see the water beading. Sorry.
to be completely honest with you, I don't see any difference at all. You can see how it's beaded. They all seem very similar. That's just one coat of wax. And we cleaned it with the wax remover. So this should be about all that's on there is what we applied. And they're all very, very similar. So from $5 all the way up to $31, they're all really close. Let's get it outside in some sunlight and see if there's a difference. So here we are outside in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day, a little chilly but it's still a real very nice day. And here we are. There's absolutely no difference in shine. These are all marketed to have a superior shine. And they all look the same from $5 all the way up to $26, I have to admit that I'm shocked. I really thought the Zymol and the McGuire's Ultimate would have a much better shine than the rest of them. That's not the case. I'm shocked. I really didn't expect this result, honestly. I've used Zymol for years. I just started using the McGuire's Ultimate. I love them both. So I think it just kind of comes down to use what you like. Use what you like the best, how it feels when you apply it, how it buffs off, the amount of dust that's left behind as you go, and just use that. <clears throat> so let us know in the comments what brand of wax you prefer and why you prefer it, and maybe I'll try that. This was only eight, and there's a whole bunch out there on the market. I'd be willing to try something else and see if it has a superior shine. So thanks for watching.